We're out on Grand Island today for yet another boat dock bird netting job, but this one's a little different. Let's see what's inside. In order to get this beautiful boathouse in ship shape, our crew has come up with a long list of bird exclusion tactics and a treasure trove of specialty products from Bird Be Gone. A job with such a broad scope of protection is time intensive and requires a significant financial investment. But when it comes to keeping birds away from any kind of structure, the crew at Town & Country Pest Solutions knows that anything worth doing is worth doing right. And to start this job, that means swabbing the poop deck. Literally. The first task for the crew is to pressure wash the interior and remove old nesting material from the rafters. These messes are loaded with pheromones, which attract other birds into the structure. The first step is really cleaning everything up and then spraying DSV. This is going to help get rid of any of the pheromones that are actually in bird feces. Birds can sense that and they're going to sense that this is a place that they want to roost. DSV is short for disinfectant, sanitizer, and viricide. It's much easier and more effective to apply the solution before the crew does anything else. With that taken care of, it's time to start installing the bird netting. Looks like the guys have already been working on some of the cabling around the edges, got the hardware going. And the tricky thing here, again, are these steel I-beams that are separating the space. So we're gonna have to take that into account, divvy up the net in a couple different segments. This heavy duty polyethylene bird netting from Bird Be Gone is flame resistant, rot proof, and guaranteed for up to 10 years. This product is a mainstay in our bag of tricks and meets our standards for both form and function. This is my favorite part of these jobs because after we've seen the guys stretch out this massive net, really get a sense of the enormity, as soon as we start to get just the right tension here, it just starts to disappear on the background. And that's one of the best parts about this Bird Be Gone netting. Each structure comes with its own set of challenges, its own specific measurements, and a variety of details to address. So every bird exclusion project truly is a custom job, anchored by our team's eye for detail and expert level critical thinking. Just to prove that this isn't cookie cutter, we have to consider some of these little alcoves here. And what Ethan's done, as he was trimming the net to be flush up to this point, he let a little flap go, so that way they could get right into here, into this bay. No other bird's gonna get right up in there. Along with that, our team crafted metal enclosures to cover gaps near the top edges of the windows to ensure our netting was flush with the wall. As the installation progressed, yet another opportunity for ingenuity presented itself. So directly overhead we've got this light. At some point I would expect that those light bulbs are going to go bad and need replaced. So what this zipper does is we're able to open up this net, reach in and maintain whatever it is behind that we're trying to access, whether it's lights or some other sort of mechanical device. Ah, all right, so method to the madness. Method to the madness here. With the last leg of the journey still ahead, we returned to Port and Rochester before we set our sights to the crow's nest, meaning our crew returned a few days later to install yet another specialty product from Bird Be Gone on the rooftop. Tell me what we're doing today. So we have a jolt track that we place on top. How is that powered? Powered by thing in the sky. So solar powered, a little bit of a, a jolt. Just a little bit of a jolt to keep them in check to get the uh, dominant seagull a few times. Then when he leaves, all of his friends leave too. Not quite a swashbuckling adventure, but a great example of how we combine cutting edge products and expert level craftsmanship to provide excellent results for years to come. Well, that wraps this one up. As always, I'm Matt Miller. We'll catch you the next job.